All right, guys, in this video, I have a 2014 Kia Rio, and the customer complaint is that the door lock on the passenger side does not unlock. So, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna press a button. And we just seen it move just ever so slightly. But there's nothing happening. It doesn't matter if I use the remote or if I use the switch. nothing happens so what's the next step the next step is i'm going to take and remove the the panel and we're going to inspect the actuator for the door lock and see what's going on there now in order to remove the panel you're going to have a screw here sorry about the lighting guys you're going to have one screw here you're going to have one screw down inside the the handle assembly and you're going to have another screw that's back here and then that's it then you just take and you pull at the bottom of the panel down here and everything comes off all right so i have the panel taken off my connector for my door lock actuator is right here and now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to look at a wiring diagram real quick now the way that uh, kia door locks work is actually they use two relays so one's going to be your door lock relay and one's going to be your door unlock relay now the way that it does this is by adding a ground to one side of the relay and then a positive onto the other side of the relay. I'll try to show you guys this. So as you can see one side has a constant ground and the other side has a constant power. And now when you press and you your unlock, well it'll take and it'll add power onto one wire and ground on the other. And when you take and you press your unlock, well it'll take it'll add and it'll just reverse the polarity onto the door lock in order to get the door lock to actuate. So if we come all right here, one side will have power at the unlock. So I'll try to give you guys a good bit. So let's just say that this is in the unlock position. Okay, well this side will have power and this side will have ground and if we go and we put it into the lock position well this side will have power and then this side will have ground so it'll, it just takes and reverses, reverses the polarity onto your, uh, onto your wiring so now we're going to get to the testing of the actuator and our wiring just to make sure everything's good so with what I just told you guys if we come over here we had a green and we had a brown And the green and brown is going to be your lock and unlock for your passenger. So if we come over to our passenger door lock relay, which is right here, we have a green. And if we come up, we have a brown. So what I'm gonna do is very is just a very, very quick test to check the my power and ground. All I'm gonna be using is ah, kind of dark. A test light with a T-pin. That's it. Because remember what I just said, one side is going to be power, one side is going to be ground. So what we're going to do is come over to the actuator. So as you can see, I am hooked up to my actuator. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Where did I put that? And as you can see, when I hit my lock button, it lights up. When I hit my unlock button, nothing happens. On two turn it will, on one turn it won't. So that tells me that there's no issue whatsoever with my lock and unlock uh, system. So what I'm gonna do one more quick test. I'm gonna go get a small electric motor and we're gonna plug in a small electric motor onto it and we're gonna see what happens there. So I'll be right back. All right, so I couldn't find my little electric motor, but here's a light bulb just to show you guys. And it lights that light bulb up pretty bright. Now, you'll see that when I press unlock once, it only unlocks my driver's side, and then when I come over and I press it again, it unlocks my passenger side and all the other locks at the same time. Lock. And nothing so 
there's no problem whatsoever with my door lock uh, system the problem is with my actuators so i hope you guys enjoyed this little video and if you did please like subscribe and comment and i will see you guys next time